Hey everybody, I'm here today with a simple driving test tip and the tip is to adjust your mirrors. Now I know that this seems like common sense but I cannot tell you the number of drivers of people taking their driving test that fail to adjust their mirrors. Now if you fail to adjust your mirrors, if you don't adjust your mirrors properly or in the right way, then they're not going to allow you to see what you need to see. And if that happens, you're going to be at a higher likelihood of failing the driving test. Therefore, if you want to be at a higher likelihood of passing the driving test, you should adjust your mirrors. Now in your car you're likely going to see three mirrors. You're going to see one mirror sort of right at the top of the windshield and that is the rear view mirror. You're going to see two mirrors on either side. Those are the side mirrors. Now each of those mirrors serves a specific purpose. The rear view mirror allows you to see behind you out from the rear windshield and each of the side mirrors allows you to see down the sides of your car and then out behind you down those sides. So when you combine all three of your mirrors together they basically allow you to see behind the car which is just as important as seeing in front of the car. Now if you adjust your mirrors properly then when you go to change lanes, when you go to make your turns, when you go to you know pull over to the side of the road and pull away from the curb then guess what? You're going to be able to see what you need to see, you're going to be able to do what you need to do and get a good mark on your driving test. If you do not adjust your mirrors properly then you're not going to be able to see what you need to see and if you can imagine the driving examiner being in the passenger seat of a car of someone who can't see out of their mirrors properly it's a pretty scary situation and you're likely to fail just because of that one simple thing. Adjusting your mirrors, if you've done it many times, if you've practiced doing it, will literally only take you a matter of a few minutes at max. I would say like two to three minutes maximum. And that is, you know, with practice. If it's your first time adjusting your mirrors, it's probably going to take you a little bit longer. But if you've adjusted your mirrors many times, it'll only take you a few minutes and then you will easily be able to see out the rear of your car and you'll be able to see exactly what you need to see. So all that I'm telling you to do is take a few minutes to adjust your mirrors properly. Now this is especially true if you are driving your parents car for the driving test and it's even more true if you're driving the instructor's car for the driving test. Because in those two situations there are other people that are driving the car and you will most likely not be the first person to drive the car. So you're going to have to adjust the mirrors because the person who drove it before you has probably adjusted the mirrors for them. Now here's another quick tip. If you are driving your instructor's car, which I recommend that you do by the way, the tip is to do a driving lesson in the morning before the driving test. So do it well before the driving test, not like an hour before the driving test. Do it like four hours before the driving test and what you want to do or even longer. When you are doing that, that, that driving lesson before the test, you're going to adjust all of your mirrors properly. And then you're going to ask the instructor, is anyone else going to be driving this car after me? If the instructor tells you no, you're going to be the last one driving this car and you're going to be driving it next for your test, then you know that you've adjusted the mirrors and they're most likely going to be in the same spot. You can get in the car, just look at the mirrors to make sure they're good to go and you'll be good to go. Um, if there is someone else that is driving the vehicle between you driving it and you taking the test, um, then you're going to have to adjust the mirrors. And like I said, take your time, learn to do it properly because seeing behind you is just as important as seeing in front of you. So take your time, learn to do it properly and adjust those mirrors. And that's basically it. That is the simple driving test tip. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.